Hey guys, what is going on? It is Daboki here once again, and it's time for another Cooking with Daboki. Today, I am going to be cooking Shin Ramen, and yes, indeed, ladies and gentlemen, it's been a super long time since I've cooked this on my channel. Gourmet Ramen Cooking Video, I believe is what I used. I used the Shin Ramen here. There is a little twist, though, because we are going to be actually using the electric lunch box, which I am a little bit nervous because I've never cooked noodles in this before, so it's going to be a really big learning experience. Just a refresher on what comes in this little bad boy here. We got two bowls. We got the top one, which I think I'm going to be putting in rice. And we got the second one that we got um, the, the main bowl here, which I think I'm going to be putting in the noodles. There's two ways I'm envisioning this. All right, first, we're putting the water, the soup. We're making our soup all nice and fancy with the noodles in there. Or we do it traditionally how we usually make instant ramen. We get the water boiling first in here, and then we put the the shin ramen inside shoot ladies and gentlemen we're doing it the risky way we're putting in ramen in cold water calm down it's all right i'm a professional i just got myself some jasmine rice the goal is that i want the rice and the ramen to cook at the same time i know it's a little bit greedy but yo greed where does life not get you places without greed what, what was that sentence i put two mysterious cups of whatever measurement this is in here we got ourselves a good amount of water in here now filled to the top the soup in the ramen ladies and gentlemen is i think the most important part right like you get the noodles yes but the soup is what brings it the flavor you can make shin ramen taste just incredible if you make the the soup broth just incredible gochujang this is a korean red pepper paste very good flavor usually seen in a lot of soups a lot of korean barbecues you just got pure red goodness very dark red look at that gonna get myself a healthy spoonful of that i think i should have used like at least the hot water to get it started i might have made a mistake but i'm just like trying to think like if you didn't have hot water available you were out and about you had just kind of lukewarm cold water from the faucet how well will this work this is probably my favorite one right here do not forget about this it's samchang now this is a bit of the dangjang and the gochujang mixed together we do have some other miscellaneous goods like garlic onions usually crushed into here but you can find this in a lot of asian markets i definitely recommend getting this you will also have this as a side in korean barbecues as well all right if this doesn't work out well i know next time to definitely gotta use at least least hot water in here. Since we're still in the zone of making the flavor of the soup, now we put gochujang, samchang in here. I myself am going to put in all the seasoning packets within the, the broth. You know what? I'm actually gonna calm down a bit. I'm gonna use half of the flavor here. The bowl is a bit smaller. I don't want it to be too concentrated. I'm just gonna use half, half of the seasoning packet of the shin ramen. And I'm gonna put the full package of these dried dehydrated vegetables in here. From the last time I cooked with this, I did chop up some extra vegetables. I'm going to use this. I got cabbage, I got green peppers, green onions, as well as some cauliflower. So I'm going to just put in a little bit of cabbage, just small amounts of cauliflower. This is just to get the, uh, the flavor of the broth. I'm gonna put in just like two green peppers here. I'm gonna even make this a little bit smaller. Oh, that's just spraying me right in the eyeballs. Green onions. Oh, guys, gotta get that green onion in there. That is the best part. My girlfriend actually hates green onions, so every time I add green onions, I'm just kind of thinking, hope she doesn't notice. This water is pretty full. I don't even know if the noodles will fit, but I'm going to try to put it in there. Soup broth, pure cold water, with a lot of mixed veggies. The nervous part, ladies and gentlemen, getting this in here. Oh, wait, wait a second. Is it just gonna fit? It fits perfectly in there. What? The rice can just fit. Ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a, a full meal. I actually love it. Wow, that was super easy, super convenient. So I'm not gonna lie, the plug does kind of scare me a little bit. It's really third party looking, right? It's like, will this start a fire? I don't know. I'm gonna push that magical button, pushed. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to go ahead and check this food. It's been cooking for about 10, 11 minutes. Now I know rice is cooking different times of the noodles, but like I said, this is an experiment. Rice still not touched. It looks like the noodles are not even boiling yet. So 
gotcha. 12 minutes, not doing much. So what I think I should have done was put the noodles in later. I think really we should have boiled the water first and let that cook more and then put the noodles in after. What I'm guessing is gonna happen is that the noodles are gonna turn really soggy in there. <laughs> because the main test of this video was to cook noodles, I kind of feel bad that I put rice in here as well. So I will be cooking the rice or I'll continue to cook the rice more on the side. Ooh, actually the rice looks done. No, it's not done. Ooh, ooh. Noodles actually look pretty good. So there's not a lot of soup, but the, the texture of the noodles, I can feel it. It's actually really nice. Let's give this a shot, guys. Wow, that is really good. That is super good. Okay, all right, all right, all right. I know what I'm gonna do, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this out of the pot here so I can cook the rice some more. <laughs> Cause I still want my rice with my noodles. And actually because of all of that flavor that I put in the broth here, it really had a chance for these noodles to soak up all that good flavor and I can really taste it. It is spicy, it is good. It is what I want in my ramen. Noodles are a bit overcooked though. That is something with trial and error. I should have definitely put the noodles in later when, after the, the water got heated up. Also, cooking this with the rice was a, a risky move, and I knew that going in. I knew it. I was like, Deboki, this is risky. I'm doing it anyway. It was a power move, guys. That's all it was. It was a power move. You know, to put you guys down there. Oh, it's spicy. Oh, but it's so good. Oh, don't follow me. Where's my spoon? Where's my spoon? I'm gonna taste some of the soup. Oh, wow. I wanted to put an egg in here, but unfortunately, given the circumstance, I just wasn't able to right now. But next time, next time I'm gonna put an egg in. Wow. That is super tasty. This is actually perfect because the only time that I put rice usually in with my ramen is at the very end. Do you guys ever like to do that? When you have just like extra soup left or something, you just kind of dump the rice in and you make yourself a nice soup rice. Mmm, so good. I feel like it still kind of could use some more. Let me taste a little bit. Sorry, this cord keeps getting in the way. It's gonna be, I think, still pretty hard. Yeah, yeah, that's not cooked yet. Nope, oh, not, not cooked yet, not cooked yet. What's sad though, I don't know if you guys agree, I feel like noodles is like a really bad first date food. It's just a very unappetizing, or it's a very unflattering first date food, right? Maybe. Where do you guys like to go on dates? for food wise. Where's like a safe place to go? Ice cream, cause you're always just looking sexy while you're eating it. I guess noodles you can kind of be sexy if you can eat noodles sexy like. I don't. No more dates with the bogey after noodles. Let me taste this cauliflower. Mmm. Wow, that cauliflower had so much flavor in it. Literally packed with flavor, just bursting in my mouth. I gotta add more cauliflower to my ramen. That was awesome. Checking my rice again, because that's what you gotta do. It's probably already kind of ruined because I kept opening it. I haven't really mastered the rice cooking here yet. It's okay. I don't know if it's gonna get any better to be honest, guys. Let's let's see how it is in soup though. That was the main like idea, right? Let's get you guys a little close up here on this action. I think the soup though might make it better. That's what I'm gonna be hoping for. This is what I usually like to do with my rice with the last bits of my ramen is just kind of mix in some fresh white rice in here. If this is good, I'll add more rice in here. Oh yeah, that's good. Oh yeah, that's good. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely add it all in. That was bomb. <laughs> ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Yo guys, I actually have like the perfect idea. First date, right? You show up with the electric lunchbox. Go out to like a picnic. Wait, better yet, go to some romantic coffee shop or something, and then she's like, oh, you know, what are we gonna eat? She's just assuming that, oh, we're just here for coffee. Boom, pull out the electric lunchbox, cook her a full-blown meal. When I say full-blown, I mean instant ramen. You would have my heart. This is actually so good. I was so hungry. I like the idea of the rice. I just think I could have done it better. 
different timing, actually know how to use it. It was just kind of weird. It felt kind of sloppy, you know? I, I really don't think I should have put the noodles in first with the, the cold water and the rice. Oh, it's got some heat to it. Adding that gochujang and the uh, the shin ramen powder. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, that was actually really delicious. The rice was a little bit struggling at first, but turned out pretty well. Redeemed itself within the noodles and the soup. Yeah, I recommend it. Definitely, I do recommend it. If you're gonna cook with this and you wanna try this out with the electric lunchbox and the ramen and the rice, do it differently. See where I went wrong in this video and change it up. There's definitely a right way to do this. Um, and this way was kind of not the right way, I don't think. So don't, don't follow this really to a T, but take the pieces that make sense to you and work with it. And I think that's what cooking is all about. Make it your own, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I love about cooking, is you can just make it your own. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. This has been Devoki, and I'll be seeing you guys later. Goodbye. Hey guys, I just want to give a quick shout out and thank you to Mass Drop for sponsoring this video. They were so kind enough to send me some really nice earbuds to try out. These are the X New Force EDC Mass Drop earbuds and they work pretty awesomely. And I gotta say, these are the most important items in my day because I commute to and from work about one hour each way and to drown out some unwanted noise outside, earbuds are my go-to item. So they reached out to me and they're like, hey Deboki, you know, do you want to talk about some of these earbuds? We'll send you a pair, you can review it, you can just talk a little bit about it. I was like, all right, hold on one sec. Let me check online first to see what you're sending me. So I checked online and these earbuds look pretty dandy. And I was like, okay, I've never heard of these brands before. Um, but you know, that's a way to get exposed, I think, to some offset brands. One notable feature I want to mention about these earbuds that I just love about any sort of audio, I guess, paraphernalia is that you can change out the cord. Because the earbud part and the cord, they get worn and torn differently but a lot of times your earbud itself can be really good, but the cord is just what it's bad. Again, guys, X New Force EDC, thank you so much, Master Out, for spending these earbuds and sponsoring this video. You guys are awesome. Great product. Much love. This has been Deboki. Out.